Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Adolescence. Welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well and I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Today, I'm gonna to be going over 10 wonderful designer-based fragrances for the spring of 2020. Five of them are gonna be for men. And of course, I've enlisted the help of my good friend, Anna, from the channel, Anna Absolute. Uh, this is a collaboration. All of her information is gonna be down below if you wish to check her out. I really like her channel and the type of content that she's been putting out. I'm responsible for the men's fragrances. She's responsible for the women's fragrances. So make sure to stay tuned. So once again, thank you all so much for tuning in and it is such a pleasure and an honor to have Anna from the channel Anna Absolute on this channel. Thank you so much for being a part of this collaboration. It really does mean a lot to me and I wish you nothing but the best and interminable success for your channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it because we are going to be making 10 recommendations and the first one that I would like to recommend is one that because of quarantine reasons I don't have in my possession currently uh, but it's actually from the company Armaf and it's called Trenuit. Now Trenuit is one that so many reviewers have spoken about. There's no secret to it. It is their version of Creed's Green Irish Tweed. So often this fragrance is dubbed the king of spring and for very good reason. You have the lemon verbena, the violet, the iris, the citrus. It's just a really wonderful, bright, green uh, sort of a fragrance, very verdant, and a lot of people equate it to the rolling hills of Ireland. If you're looking for something that's about, I would say 95% similar, certainly make sure to check out Trenuit by Armaf. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful alternative. What's up for those who don't know me? My name is Anna Absolute, and I'd like to thank Steven with Red Adolescence for donating to charity and doing this collaboration with me on our top 10 spring scents. Whew. I am truly honored and grateful for being asked and considered to do this. I'm just like, blows my mind, blows my mind. Guys, I'm a new YouTuber and yeah, I'm, I'm new, I'm brand new out the womb new and for that for him to have asked me I was just like um deer in headlights me 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 really yeah so anyways I'm like super duper juiced to show you guys my top five fragrances and Steven thank you so much so guys let's get into it Whew, okay so this is gonna go in no particular order. I have numbered them one through five, but I don't like any of these more or less than any one of the others. And they all go for different um, occasions and that's how I did this list. So stick with me. So number f at number five, I chose Paco Rabanne's Olympia. Olympia. Guys. I freaking love Olympia. I wear this every single day. Mm, for the last like two, I've, I've been wearing this every single day for the last two weeks. And this is like when spring starts and you already miss your winter fragrances. Cause it's a deep vanilla, but it has salt in it, which makes it very aquatic and fresh. And it, oh, when, when you spray it, it opens up with ginger and that's, I guess, what kind of makes it a little fresh, but the ginger dies down really fast. It dies down or dries down. Hmm. But the ginger is just up and out of there almost instantly. And you're just like left with this beachy vanilla that is perfect for spring. So that is my number five, Paco Rabanne's Olympia. Oh yeah, and this one is a beast. It lasts all day. Oh, just smells so good. I love it. Paco Rabanne's Olympia. The next recommendation that I would like to make for men is from the company Giorgio Armani. And this one is Aqua di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani. Now here's the thing, if you live in a much, much hotter climate where it tends to get really warm, really sunny, right around this time of the year, I would recommend Profondo. 
However, if you are living in a climate where you're still occasionally getting that gust of wind, it's a little bit breezy, it's not super hot, you can definitely afford to pull this one off. If you're asking me for my personal favorite, I would definitely choose Profumo over Profondo, just because with the incense of the patchouli that's in here, this one is a little bit more interesting to my nose, and I really, really enjoy wearing this one. It's just really versatile. It seems like every time I wear it, I do get compliments wearing it, and it just happens to be one of these fragrances that's a Swiss army knife, and you know you're not going to offend anyone. Nobody's gonna take offense to what you're wearing. Same thing can be said with this one. This one might actually be a little bit safer, but for uh, the interest of captivating my nostrils, for lack of a better phrase, I like this one. This one does a more interesting job. I personally find this one to be a bit more unique. And at number four, for all my floral lovers out there, I went with a more tropical floral, and that is Dolce and Gabbana's Dolce Garden. Guys, mm, this is like, this is a tropical floral. It has frangipani, ylang ylang, and coconut milk in it. And that's honestly, that's the heart of the fragrance, and that's mostly what I get throughout the whole fragrance. And more almond milk than I do the coconut milk. There is mandarin orange in this, and I, I think that just makes this extra sweet. I think, I don't know. I'm not a professional, guys. I said, I told you, I'm new. I could be wrong. <laughs> But it's, it's a really sweet, tropical fragrance to me. Honestly, I think Garden is misleading. Um, I read on Fragrantica that they named this fragrance after a Sicilian garden. I've never been to Sicily. I don't know what their gardens look like, but I, I don't know if they have Ylang Ylangs or Frangipani and all that. This is very tropical to me. I'm Polynesian, so tropical fragrances drive me wild i love them they're my shoes so uh, yeah that's just what i get with this it's just a creamy milky tropical floral and if you guys smelt it you would know you could wear it with jeans you could dress it up and wear it with a dress I think this is a, an all around great floral to wear. Now moving on to my next recommendation for men. This fragrance is by the company Tom Ford and this one is called Beau De Jour. As I'm sure a lot of you know, it used to be a private blend and then they sort of re-released it into the more um, designer level bottles with the ridges on it. I do think the smell is really, really nice. If I did have to pick a season in which to wear it, it would definitely be the spring season just because that lavender comes across very herbaceous. I actually really like that gentlemanly feel that it gives across. It's one that's also easy to wear. I haven't necessarily received as many compliments wearing it as I did with Profumo, but nevertheless, it's a really nice sort of classy, sophisticated, dressed up sort of a fragrance that can definitely be pulled off in the spring very, very comfortably. And at number three, we have the best to me spring going out fragrance. And that is the one, the only, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. The stiletto perfume, guys, the stiletto perfume. And I honestly think why they call this good girl because she starts out quiet. Just a little whisper of citrus and coffee. Yeah, she starts off real quiet and kind of, kind of boring. Not gonna lie. And she, but she fools you because she turns into this bad girl, this let's go out girl, this let's go party girl, this every everybody notices girl. And that's why I think Carolina Herrera is the best for spring. It is a little light with the citruses. Oh, I'm losing myself in the face. It is a little light in the beginning with the citrus notes, but it, um, and after about 10 minutes, the florals come into the, come into the scene and it's like a modern tuberose, like a millennial tuberose that I am in love with. I don't, 
I don't love florals too much except anything with gardenia, except any gardenia fragrance. But this one really is just like, a, this is a smooth, nice tube rose. And the roasted tonka and cacao really give depth to this fragrance and turns this into the perfect night out fragrance, going out, getting noticed, getting into trouble fragrance. And I love it. And that is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Also, <laughs> this lasts forever. <laughs> you, you, can be, you can go out all night and only spray yourself a couple times and you'll be safe throughout the night. Get sweaty, get crazy, after quarantine, after quarantine. And getting on to my number two recommendation, this one is by the company Moschino and yet another release that came out in 2019. This one is called Moschino Toy Boy. This is their take on Rose and this is one of the more unique fragrances. As a matter of fact, I would probably venture to say it's one of the most unique fragrances that came out in 2019 and it is my favorite release of 2019. I like that it's not experimenting with that blue genre. It's not doing things in a way that has been done a hundred times before. And when I think of spring, I think of florals just because it's spring, rebirth, uh, you know, flowers are in bloom. And the fact that it contains rose, but it's such a unisex sort of um, gender free rose, you know, it doesn't lean feminine or anything like that. It's a little bit spicy in the same way that Declaration Dune Soir by Cartier is spicy, but I really, really enjoy Toy Boy. So that would come in my number two spot. And at number two, we have an ultra feminine, an ultra soft, but strong fragrance that lasts and that has projection and has little moderate sillage. And that is Narciso Rodriguez. Narciso Rodriguez for her Eau de Parfum. Guys, this is a beautiful woman. This is a feminine woman. This is a just like a beautiful quiet <laughs> i'm not quiet but <laughs> i wear this to church okay i wear this at, to church i wear this for weddings i wear this for when i when i wear this i feel like i'm sitting in a little garden and rosebuds are blossoming that is how i feel when i wear this this is this is really a musky rose to me i just get rose and musk there are other um, notes in here obviously but that's mostly what i get from it and it is just light and beautiful and it lasts a very long time and I think it's honestly perfect for spring. I'd wear this to church on Easter Sunday. I'd, yeah, it's just beautiful. Any like, any outing in the spring where you have to be a little bit more classy and a little more feminine, this is what, this is what I would wear. So that's why it is at number two, Narciso Rodriguez, Eau de Parfum for her. And the number one fragrance on this list is one that I've owned for many, many years now. It's a fragrance that I have been telling myself I need to buy another bottle of, but I've been quite conservative with the amount that I put on, but it's right in the heart of spring now. And so I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. And I think it's a matter of time before I <laughs> visit one of these online discounters and I buy myself another bottle. And the good news is that you can do that. You can buy this one at an affordable price. You don't have to pay MSRP or anything like that. And it's by the company Hermes. And this one is called Un Jardin sur le Nil. And the name translates to a garden on the Nile. And it's a really sort of bright, green, earthy, vegetal, and slightly fruity fragrance. You have this tomato leaf note going on in there. It's very herbal, but it's very refreshing at the same time. You have a lot of other green nuances lurking underneath. You also have this mango note that doesn't come across too tart or too fruity or too sweet or anything like that. It's just a really nice balance and it provides a really well needed contrast to all of these other green elements going on in there. You also have this really fresh introduction on account of the citrus and I do 
think it's uh, Jean-Claude Elena's one of his best creations. So I am a huge fan of Un Jardin sur le Nil, and I'm hoping that if you have a chance to try it, if you have not yet tried it, I think you owe it to yourself to check it out because it's one that I have been wearing now for the past seven years or something, and I absolutely love the way that that fragrance smells. Okay, guys, and at my number one spot, at my number one spot. This is an any time of day, every single day, where the hell ever you're going to go kind of scent. And that is Chanel's Chance Eau Fraiche. Guys, this is the stuff the fairies use to wake up the bears in hibernation. This smell is invigorating. It is zesty. It is citrusy. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. And you can wear it anywhere. And men, it's very, it's very unisex. Men can wear this one too. And I think I feel, oh, it just it just makes you feel good. And when in spring, what I'm thinking of is it is time, it is time to get up, it is time to go, it is time to do all the things that you didn't want to do in winter. And this will help you get there. Chanel's Chance Eau Fraiche. It lasts forever. I get, a, I get a good five hours out of this. And if I overspray, I get more. It does have sillage and it does project. And if you spray it on your clothes, you probably can't get it off until you wash it. Honestly. Guys, I love this one. This is my second bottle of this. I wore this all summer last year and spring. <sighs> yes, but I really wanted to choose it for spring because it really wakes your game up and gets you going. And that's what spring is about. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed my list. Um, it was great um, to provide you with my list comment like subscribe um let me know how i'm doing tell me if there are better things that should be on my list let me know thanks again steven i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart my little black heart i appreciate it a lot <sighs> anyways guys yeah that was my top five peace so lastly, I just want to thank you all once again for tuning in and a very special thank you to Anna for being a part of this collaboration. I sincerely do appreciate it. So I'm hoping that you took something of value from this video. And of course, if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could support this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click that red subscribe button in the corner and please remember to enable notifications as well. This way, whenever I do upload any future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. And of course, that includes top 10 lists just like this, collaborations, giveaways, reviews, unboxings, special guest interviews, announcements, and a whole lot more. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.